Kentucky, rob a bank for a million bucks, you pay a three thousand dollar fine is the equivalent. And uh, it, it's the article goes on to say that uh, this is all just continuing. This is all continuing. This is all going on still. They're not stopping. In fact, uh, they're intensifying uh, their actions uh, on this front. And it just shows you the absolute lawlessness. This is a military financial coup d'etat. This is agreed upon by the Republican and the Democratic uh, pimps that are owned by the globalist, and this is a program that we laid out to you what happened. And they are codifying it. They are setting the precedent to be completely and totally lawless and do whatever they want while throwing the book at the citizens for crooked toenails. Uh, Senator Bernie Sanders has released the Fed audit, a partial audit, confirming $16 trillion in secret payments to foreign banks and private individuals and companies like MSNBC in the last two years. $16 trillion. See, this is what the heist is about. This is why government's going along with it. They're getting paid off. And Senator Sanders shouldn't get on airplanes anytime soon. I'll tell you that right now. And, and we'll tie this into Europe, then get into the big story we haven't even covered yet. We are back live. That is Al from Ministry. By the way, he's going to be on the show sometime next week. Lies, 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 lies. By the way, if you listen to that piece, he says, gentlemen, we're on a mission to overthrow the U.S. government. That's the globalists talking there. How do they overthrow the government? They stage an attack against the republic and then they say get rid of the bill of rights constitution declaration of independence replace it with a stasi control grid let the foreign banks run everything and you'll be safe from the terrorist you can see hitler gentlemen let's completely overthrow the weimar republic firebomb the reichstag gentlemen let's start world war ii attack our own military base at glywitz blame poland lies 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 that is what is going on, my friends. A new world order, as George Herbert Walker Bush uh, talked about. Now, I want to continue to go through the news here and get back to our top story that's really expanded. The DHS has denied racial overtones in white middle-class terrorist video. And, you know, I tell this story, just to give an example of the power of this radio broadcast, the power of our websites, Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. And at the end of the day, the power of this audience, you are the engine. Sure, we do a lot of the research. You help us. We write the articles. We cut through the propaganda. We, we, we illustrate with historical context our points, and it has a huge effect. Every week or two now, we put out stories that end up being either the top story in the country or the top story uh, in a area, a uh, top story that then becomes an entire movement. And obviously, we were able to do that some in the past. Drudge Report carrying our material has turbocharged, turbocharged that. But... I know a lot of you are radio listeners. You're talk radio listeners. That's why you listen. So you must be hearing this, too. I got up uh, a little late this morning, 7 a.m. Kids and my wife were already up, went in, drank some coffee, had a little breakfast, and started uh, scanning through the local AM dial. Heard the local morning show on 590 talking about the story and plugging Infowars.com. I then, this morning, was driving into work and listened to the same station and heard the next show talking about it, and I thought, let me just tune into a Dallas talk station. Tuned over, boom, talking about it. Didn't have time, was making some cell phone calls to listen to other stations. That, ladies and gentlemen, is having an effect. And Infowars.com uh, with DrudgeReport.com and this audience, that synergy together is absolutely dynamic. Plus, the news is incredible, uh, and it, 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 it is a great responsibility. You know, I've got Watson writing an article, uh, and, we, and even the Texas Power Commission and others agreed with us in our analysis. The White House responded earlier in the year during the rolling blackouts in Texas and other states from the cold weather because we don't have the power plants we need for the growing population. And we have the studies showing that, 
that EPA uh, carbon tax policies that have already been in place for 10 years, the increasing policies put in by Obama in the last two were, tr were uh, triggering that. And the White House responded to us, the White House Communications Director at WhiteHouse.gov. And uh, it's the same thing with the rolling uh, heat and the blackouts. Uh, and, and Enron got caught doing this in California in 99, 2000, 2001, because they can then charge you more for less energy. It's part of training you under austerity to pay more for less. Okay? And that's their model. So I'm going to be getting into that uh, as well. Uh, but that's another big report we need to get out. I'm going to uh, continue to go over the news because I haven't scratched the surface yet uh, of the news. And I want to get into some inflation news as well. There's an article by Big Gold, Jeff Clark, that we've got linked and posted at Infowars.com uh, that shows better than I have. Sometimes I'll come up with a few Zimbabwe notes or old Deutsche marks and say, you know, here's a billion dollar mark. This can only buy a loaf of bread at the end, or here's a Zimbabwe trillion dollar note. Uh, but they've showed just, I don't know, it's got to be 15 or so different currencies in the last hundred years that have been completely devalued down to nothing. And we know that's where this is going. I mean, listen, we are informed politically and do make a lot of really complex, incredible calls on what's going to happen. I mean, some of this is really nuanced and, 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 has so much information integrated into decisions I make and calls that I make on issues that I don't even know how I completely come to the realization of it. There's so much information integrated that it, it takes hours of just sitting there in a chair with a pad of paper going over the points in my mind to understand how I, under, how I know this stuff. I mean, it's like somebody who's been driving a race car, you know, a NASCAR for 20 years. It, you know, it's just absolutely second nature, and they can't tell you how they do it. I mean, you know, but, but, but things like knowing that they are going to hyperinflate the currency down to nothing, that is an absolute foregone conclusion now. The question is the time frame. And when you talk about the devastation economically, financially, socially, the crime, the, the, the hellishness of what the private central banks have maneuvered us into. You see, the dollar lost 97%, according to Congressional Budget Office, of its value from 1913 with the Federal Reserve. Did you know from the 1790s uh, right through until 1913, this country had negative inflation? Sometimes it was a little inflation, or then it was stagnant, or then they would have deflation, but it was basically about a half a point negative. So, so a dollar in you know, 1820 was worth about the same as a dollar, because uh, it was gold and silver backed, uh, in 1920, 100 years later. Okay? Now... Since 1913, with the Federal Reserve taking over, they've now taken over all of society through fraud, and now they want to destroy what's left of society so they can consolidate it. They've taken over all the major institutions, bought it all up, unlimited money, that we then pay interest on to give them. Here's trillions now. We also pay you interest to give you trillions. We're your slaves. It's total fraud. You just got to say, I'm not a slave anymore. I see your fraud. It's over, Bernanke. You can tell me your fiat notes, debt-based monetary system uh, is uh, good and, and is money and gold isn't. That's like telling me that, uh, you know, uh, a bucket of vomit is good to drink, but crystal clear mountain spring water isn't. Okay, well, I'm going to drink the mountain spring water, Bernanke, the gold, the silver. You can have the bucket of rotten vomit, Okay. Because that's it's worse than rotten vomit. I mean, this is poison. This is cyanide. He's telling us a bucket of cyanide uh, is good, and and I'm saying no, crystal clear mountain spring water. And then the media is like, well, you're a conspiracy theorist. <laughs> you want mountain spring water instead of cyanide? Whoa, whoa! This guy's crazy. This guy's crazy. From 1913 until now. Actually, in 1913 until about 2009, or I guess October 2008, but almost 2009, 97%, Ron Paul's written reports on this, so is the Congressional Budget Office, as I mentioned, 
seven percent of the dollar's value was lost, but it was done over ninety years plus, uh, and so it, it it wasn't as easy to notice. But you know, in nineteen thirteen, you could walk in with a uh, quarter, and you could go into a diner and get a three course meal, coffee. Uh, tea, a uh, piece of pie, buy your buddy a cup of coffee, a quarter. By the 1960s, you could get the cup of coffee for the quarter. Now the cup of coffee's two bucks, if you're lucky. You see? You see what's happening? And that's even with companies and businesses cutting back their profit. And, and, and selling you the coffee at almost what it cost them. Because they got employees, they got government bureaucracy to pay for. The taxes are up, the bureaucracy's up, and their profit's less. And this is across the board. So the real free market and productivity, it shrinks while the false banker parasite government system just grows and grows. In fact, it was out in the news yesterday. Government jobs exploding in the federal government, not at the state level. Oh, that implosion's begun. And they'll implode the feds later, too. This is a gradual thing. But private sector jobs, massive layoffs in the last month, intensifying. In fact, since I got into this now, Jaron, will you pull up the article? Uh, it's, it's up on InfoWars and Prison Planet. Uh, a thousand pictures is worth one word by Jeff Clark at uh, Big Gold. Uh, because I want to show people who are watching on PrisonPlanet.tv. If you're a radio listener, go to InfoWars.com, go to PrisonPlanet.com. It's, it's, it's there on the main page. And I'm going to read over this, then I'll get into our big top story that is one of the biggest stories in the country right now. A thousand pictures is worth one word. And it goes on to say, in spite of constant headlines about debt and deficits, most Americans don't really believe the U.S. dollar will collapse. From knowledgeable investors who study the markets to those seemingly too busy to worry about such things, most dismiss the idea of dollar actually going to zero. Folks, if it even loses another half of its value in just the next few years, it'll be absolute devastation. And most economists and historians are saying it may go to near zero. Do you understand the unmitigated nightmare? I mean, I am bracing myself. I'm looking at actually, well, I'm not going to get into it. Uh, I mean, building a fortress because in fact, I'm not looking at it. I've got to do it. I'm so busy fighting here. I know my family's not safe. I've already run to the countryside in preparation for this. And so have all the other people who are aware of what's going on. So have government people. That's on record. You know, rich moving to the country, building armored compounds. Why do you think? And, and this could still be partially reversed. You see, instead, it's going to be accelerated, and then the very people that orchestrated it, they're going to be in charge of the next solution and being our protectors. And if we get too uppity, <gasps> terrorists just blew up a building. Uh, we found a passport. I mean, th th folks, if we don't wake up, they're going to win, and they are going for broke. They, 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 they've committed so many crimes that the social engineers have and the private banking cartels that they've got to go all the way. Do you understand that? They've created conservatively hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times more derivative, fiat, fraudulent debt instruments than exist real assets in the world. They did this to take over. They have taken over. But if a guy comes to your house and says at gunpoint, I'm going to get over there, I'm tying you up, and I'm going to rape your wife, just because he has a gun and has taken over your society doesn't mean he has a right to do it. And we're going to have to gut up, and even if he ends up shooting us, uh, you know, fall down and grovel and act like we're scared and then grab the gun away. By the way, I'm not just talking. I've actually done that growing up in Dallas, a knife and a gun. Well, in one case, I didn't grovel. One time I did. The other time I just waited and grabbed the thing away. And, well, I'm not going to get into the rest of it. Um, but it's, it's in the police files in Dallas and Rockwall. The point is, is, that, is that you don't have a choice. I'm not going to sit here and watch my family raped, okay? I, I mean, this guy's going to get a fight. And he may even pump around into me, but I'm going to get that gun away while I'm juiced up on adrenaline. I'm going to blow your head off politically. I'm coming for you. I know the stakes, and I'm not backing off. You understand that?